a test question on rate of change application where a square pyramid is inverted. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Map Institute. In this video, we'll discuss another important optimization application. It is again a test question shared by one of my students. An inverted square pyramid with height of 15 cm is being filled with water at the rate of 10 cm cube per second. Find the rate at which the height of water is changing when it reaches the top where the area of square is 144 cm squares. You can pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now like we do with all the questions we need to visualize and then formulate a strategy to solve. Now here we are given inverted square pyramid. Just try to understand this. How will it look like? So we have a square on the top. So I'm trying to sketch one here, right? We have a square on the top. Let's assume this is a square. And, and this is the inverted thing right so inverted means like a pyramid all these sides will converge at a particular point right so that becomes the inverted square pyramid correct perfect now in this pyramid what are we given we are given that the height is 15 centimeter right so this height is 15 centimeters, let's write down, all units in centimeters, is being filled at the rate of 10 centimeter cube per second. That means rate of change of volume. So, we'll write down dv dt is 10 centimeter cube per second. Find the rate at which the height of water level is changing when it reaches the top top is when the height is 15. So, we need to find the rate of change of volume when height is 15, right? Where the area of the square is 144 centimeters square. So, so the area of the square is given to us, not the width of the sides. So, area of the square is 144, means each side will be how much? Let's say S is the side, which is side square, right? So, that means the side is equal to square root of 144, and that is 12 centimeters, correct? So, each side here is 12 centimeters. Make sense, right? Now, water is being filled, that means uh, the level rises from bottom, right? So, like this. You see that? So, at any instance, it is kind of, let's say, here. Now, at this instance, we don't know what is the height. So, let's say the height here is h, and we don't know what is going to be this particular length. So, let's let's consider this particular, this is a nice triangle right here. So, let's say this is x and the height is h, right? So, that will also form inverted square pyramid, correct? You see that? So, let me just uh, make it kind of bold for you. Is that clear to you, correct? So, so water is being filled, right? So, water will be kind of filled like this. Make sense? So, I think now you can visualize. So, to find the rate of change, we need to get the equation to work with. And definitely, we are looking at the volume. So, what is the expression for volume? 
So volume always in the case of uh, pyramids is one third of area. So let's say this area will be how much? Let's say this will be x square, right? Times the height. That becomes the volume at any instance of time where the width of the square is x and the height is h. Now we have two variables. We need to get to one variable, relate them, right? So you can definitely relate them using this particular triangle as you can see, right? So in this particular triangle, you can relate, they are similar triangles, right? So these sides are in the ratio of 12 to x, correct? So 12 over x is equal to the height of 15 over h. So that is how you can relate. And since you want to find the rate of change of volume at a given height, we should have height in the expression. So we want to eliminate x. You get the strategy. So we should write what x is, right, in terms of h. Right? So you could simplify this and you can write this as x is equal to, so cross multiply, right. So you get h goes on this side, x goes on that side. And then you have 12 over 15. Make sense, right? So that becomes the expression. 12 and 15 can be divided by 3. So we can write x as equal to 12 over 15 means 4 over 5, right? Of 4 fifth of the height. Is that clear to you? So you can see from here, our approach is very clear. First, we need to sketch and visualize. And then develop equation. So relate variables. And then find the function. After attending university. The winner of this year's Certificate of Achievement Shulin Leader Award is Akshi Kandivani. Great. Our student, Akshit, gets highest marks and the most prestigious Shulik Leader Award. You can be there. Join our classes and excel. So that is what we have done just now. So now we have our equation, right? So we have volume, which is half of, oh, sorry, one third, I'm sorry, not half, one third, right? Volume is always one third. So make a correction, please. Volume is one third of area of the base into height. And X and H are related by X is four fifth of height. Now it's easy to find the solution. Let's go to a new page and uh, write on what we have got, right? So we just figured out that the volume is equal to one third of area of base into height. And we also found that X is four fifth of height, correct? So that gives you the volume as one third and X becomes four fifth of height whole square times h and that gives you 1 over 3 4 square 16 over 25 h square and h gives you h cube correct so that becomes your expression so we can now write that the volume is basically equal to 16 over 75 h cube right Now, let us differentiate and get the rate of change of volume. So we get dv dt, implicit differentiation, 16 over 75, 
h cube will be differentiated as 3 times h square dh dt, correct? Now, you can write down, simplify this, rate of change of volume with time is 16 by 3 goes 25 times to 75 h square dh dt, perfect? Now, we can find dh dt since all other things are given to us, right? So, let us write down what is given to us. dv dt is constant and is 10 centimeter cube per second. Height at which we want to find the water level changing is 15 centimeters. Substituting these values, what do we get? We get 10 equals to 16 over 25 times 15 square dh dt, right? So, from here you can calculate dh dt, which will be 10 times 25 over 16 times 15 square, right? You can use calculator, otherwise it is not a very difficult calculation, right? So, let us write 15 times 15 here. It becomes easy calculations. Sometimes you can do things faster without calculator. That is what I am trying to show you here, right? So, that goes 5 times 5 and then again with 5, we get 3 times 3. Do you see that? 9 times 16 and 16 can go 8 and 5. Is that clear to you, right? So, what we get here is 5 over 9 times 8, which is 72. And the units will be centimeters per second. Do you see that? So, without calculator, I have taken some values, which will help you find the answer quickly. So, you have your answer, the rate of change of DHDT will be seven, 5 over 72 centimeters per second. Is that clear to you? So, let us write down. So, DHDT when height is way to the top, which is 15 centimeters, will be 5 over 72 centimeters per second. Perfect. So, that is how we are going to answer this particular question. So, I hope the steps are absolutely clear. Let us look back at the strategy adopted. Perfect. Well, in case you want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the address given. As you know, most of my students are doing fairly well. Some are right there on top of their class. So, basically what we did here was, we first understood the question inverted square pyramid, right? So, first sketch this inverted square pyramid as we have done here, right? To understand how do we derive the equation. We related height of water with the width of the square using similar triangles and we know volume is one third of area of base into height and then the derivative gave us a critical point dsdt in general and when we substituted hs15 we really got our answer so it's a rate of change application where we have recent uh, where we found that it is simplified calculations we wrote the answer in fractions the rational numbers perfect so i hope it is absolutely clear Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.